In this video, we are talking all about the WeCreate Lumos, this little compact dual laser behind me here. If you wanna learn more about it, stick around. I'm gonna give you all the details. Hey there, I'm Sarah, you're watching Creative Ramblings. We talk a lot about lasers on this channel and I try to bring you all of the new lasers on the market and give you an in-depth review and my thoughts and recommendations on the product as well as tutorials on all those lasers so you can use them to make the most of your purchase. If you are brand new to lasers, you don't have one yet, and you're a little lost trying to figure out what you wanna get, I really want you to consider joining my YouTube membership program. Just hit that join right below this video. I have a nine video course in there all about lasers from the very beginning, like what is a laser? Walk you through absolutely everything you need to know, and it's available exclusively to members. So if you hit that join button, you'll learn all about it and see how you can take advantage of that course. Today we are reviewing this right here. This is the WeCreate Lumos. It is new, it launched at the end of June, 2025. It is a compact portable dual laser. So we're gonna talk about what that means, what it can do, what kind of projects you can expect to do. And then I'm gonna give you my thoughts and recommendations on this laser. The Lumos is a dual laser. That means in this small, compact, portable body, there are two laser modules, a 10-watt diode and a 3-watt IR. It is small and compact because it is a Galvo-style laser. So, the laser module sits right here and it does not move. It uses mirrors to go back and forth and engrave whatever is sitting on the working area right down here. I just published a video on dual lasers of all kinds to help you get a good understanding of what a dual laser is and what it can do and why you might wanna choose that over something else. Um, I'm gonna link that down below if you wanna go take a look and just get a better understanding. There are quite a few dual lasers on the market. So when the Lumos came out, I think any company would want their machine to stand out a little bit more. And this one does, it has some features that other lasers don't have. So most dual lasers have some type of a diode. This has a 10 watt diode. And then they're gonna have some type of an IR or a fiber or a MOPA that goes with it. This has a three watt IR module. The standard that we see is typically two watts. We create also used their new beam focus technology in this three watt IR, which does a lot of fancy technical stuff, but essentially it makes that three watt perform more like a six watt. So you're gonna get faster, better, deeper engraving, and you're actually gonna be able to get some color engraving with this machine, um, more so than you can with other two watt IR modules. And I'm gonna show you some examples of that a little bit later, but there are some cool things that a three watt can do compared to a two watt. So let's take a look at the laser itself. So this is portable. There is a handle on top of it right here. You can lift this up and down, weighs about 15 pounds. This is a protective shield, so we don't need to wear glasses. And if you were to make, take this to a craft fair because it is portable, you're protecting your customers as well. Working area is right here. So you put your material down, the laser comes down and it cuts or engraves right here on the base. On the back, we have a vent hose and I have it going out to a purifier. You can also send it out a window, which is a great option. You can connect this to the software with Wi-Fi or USB. Ports are right in the back. There's also a couple of accessories that go with this that have ports in the back where they connect. Down here on the bottom, I can pull out this base plate and it comes with a plate like this, which is great for cutting and that sets right in there. It just allows you a little bit more airflow. It also comes with a couple of clips like this that just screw into the sides to help you hold your pieces in place. When you get this out of the box, it's pretty well ready to go. You can start engraving right away. Just comes with these few little pieces that help you interchange it as needed. One of the coolest things about this, and I'm gonna turn this off before I do it, the fan is kind of loud on that. I don't know if you could hear that or hear the difference now, but now that I've turned it off, it's much quieter. There is a handle up here, and this can work 
is a portable laser that you could take and go engrave the side of a car door or a steel door that you have going out to your garage or something like that. So the way that this works is there is a little screw right in here. I'm gonna loosen that up. And I can pull the whole laser out. So there is a place on the back here to attach your power cord. So I would take the power from the back of this and attach it to this. And now this is a truly portable laser. There is a cone that comes with it for a little bit of added safety. So the cone looks like this. And it just pops on here with some magnets. And then the fan, there's a little fan on it, plugs into the bottom. So I could go put this like on the side of something and just engrave from there. And then when I'm done with that, I can just pop it back in. It has some connections that connect it back to the laser. I tighten this up and we're ready to go. Let's go over a few more features of this machine. So I said it's right around 15 pounds to carry the whole thing. It does have a smaller working area, but it does have some accessories that go with it. So it has this big like slat extension. So you can do longer materials or you can batch process materials. There's also a rotary attachment you can put on here to do tumblers or ornaments or something like that, anything cylindrical. You can actually use the two of them together. So there's a way to attach the rotary attachment to the slide extension to do a long cylinder. So the example that we create gives is a baseball bat. So you would be able to engrave it around and long ways, which sounds pretty cool. So there's a lot of expandable options to this. There are two ways to focus this module. There is a little button on the back here to manually focus the laser. When you focus a Gal Galvo style laser like this, it has two little dots and you want the dots to meet in the center. So you can do that manually. There's an autofocus button on the back or in the software, you can just hit that autofocus button once you put your material inside. There is a camera in here to position your designs. So when you're in the software, you can position your designs using the camera, but then you can also frame out your designs to know exactly where they're gonna land on the material. This machine does not have an air assist. That's fine, you can absolutely work with that, especially when it's mostly an engraving machine. I use air assist more for cutting, um, but just keep that in mind. You may need to adjust some of your settings so you don't get that extra char. It does have a pretty strong fan. And like I said, I have it hooked up to a purifier here that's gonna pull out some of the smoke that's being created when you're engraving materials like wood that create a lot of fumes. There is a flame detection system. It will shut off if it detects a flame. It has a tilt system on it so that if it were to tilt, it's, it's gonna stop right away. And if you lift this up, the laser stops. The Lumos is the fourth laser by We Create. They have the Vision, the Vision Pro, the Vista, and now the Lumos. All of their lasers run on the We Create Make It software. We are currently in roughly version 3.0. I just got an updated version for this. It's like 3.0.1, I think. So their software has some new capabilities that work specifically with this laser. It is also compatible with Lightburn and on their website, they do have some specifications that you'll need to know when using this with Lightburn. With a diode laser, you can cut and engrave wood, some acrylic, leather, cardboard, cardstock. There's a lot of different things that you can do. With the IR module, you can engrave in great detail plastics and metals of all kinds. So between that IR and diode, you can engrave just about anything. I mentioned earlier that this is mainly an engraving machine. And I would say that for almost any Galvo style laser that has two lasers in it, that's a dual laser. A Galvo style laser stays right here and the beam moves back and forth like this. So if you are cutting something, the beam is gonna be on an angle when it's cutting. So it's going to be very, very slight, but you're gonna get an angle to just about everything you're cutting, unless it's dead center and very small. Um, you also have a very small working area on here. So yes, you can cut. I have cut, it works just fine. It's a 10 watt diode laser, but I wouldn't go with this laser if you're wanting to cut.
especially larger items. Go with something like the We Create Vision or the Vista that has a larger bed size that you can cut big pieces. This is gonna be mainly for engraving. Some of the things that I've really enjoyed graving are metals with the IR module. I think that is the coolest part about this. You get this crisp, bright engraving on aluminum business cards and stainless steel, jewelry, titanium, silver, plastic, acrylic, all kinds of things that you can do with the IR module here. One of the coolest functions that this has is that it can engrave in color. Now, theoretically, you can engrave in color with any IR module or fiber laser or MOPA. It is all possible. But what we create has done really well is they have incorporated something into their software that walks you through step by step. So they have a color engraving test that you run. You find this code that works for you and then you run a more detailed test. And then it's almost like paint by number. That detailed test gives you the exact power and speed for the material you're using, and it allows you to code your SVG by color and then engrave in color. It works best on titanium, and it works really, really well on stainless steel. So I love how they do that with their software, and it just makes it easy for you. So I think that's a good overview of what this machine can do. I do have videos coming up. I'm gonna do a deep dive into color engraving and how to do it. And then I'll have some other tutorial videos as well that can help you get a better understanding of what this does. Today I wanted to do some high level stuff. So now let's talk about price. So this just launched in June of 25. So in July, we are in a pre-sale mode. And then after that, it's going to be available for just regular purchase and shipping. So whenever you are watching this, I have the most updated link in the description. So if you click on that, you're gonna find the deal. The MSRP for this machine, as is right here, is $23.99. Then you can bundle it and get maybe the rotary or the slide extension or something like that. WeCreate is known for having sales. They very rarely have any of their lasers at full price. So even after pre-sale, I really don't expect this to go all the way up to $23.99 and stay there. So again, take a look at that link in the description to find what is going on right now and how you can take advantage of the deal. As for where this stands with other dual lasers, I think it is most uh, comparable to the X-Tool F1, the original, which is a 10 watt diode, and a two watt IR module. There are other 10 watt diode, two watt IR module dual lasers, but they, they maybe have a clunky software, they just don't work as well. So I'm gonna compare this to the F1. Um, it's a little bit higher priced, but not that much higher. And it's a three watt IR, plus it has this whole thing that comes out of the top and it's got some other accessories. So I think the price is warranted to just be a little bit higher than the F1. So let me give you my thoughts and my recommendations on the WeCreate Lumos. I think this is a pretty cool laser. I think WeCreate did a really good job with this one. It really complements the other lasers they have. So if you are a Vision or a Vista owner, this might be a really good companion for you because you can cut large pieces on your Vision. You could come over here and engrave them. Or let's say you take a big piece of birch plywood and you cut out all kinds of different earrings and then you come over here and you want to engrave them and customize them. So they might work really well together. I really like the three watt IR. I didn't think it would make that much of a difference, but that just little bit added increase of power from two watt to three watt and their beam focused technology makes it really powerful and really effective. So I'm liking that three watt power bump. It's got a ton of accessories. So that slide extension, the rotary, and then the ability to pull this out and put the cone on, those are pretty cool. Those are things we don't have in all of the other uh, dual lasers that are out there. So a few drawbacks on this. The portable part of this, like holding it up to a wall to engrave, I honestly don't think I will use that. I am a big stickler for laser safety. And I don't know that I trust myself holding a laser, manually holding a laser to something else completely still while it works. I don't think it has safety shutoff buttons. I'm not entirely sure it might, but if I were to slip or I were to move it, um, would that hurt me or the people around me? So I don't think that's something I'm going to use, but I encourage you if that's something you wanna use, definitely give it a try. There's other creators who have done it and do have videos on it. 
The other drawback when you are engraving with this, it is a unidirectional engraving. So Galbo style laser goes like this, moves back and forth. On a unidirectional laser, it's gonna start over here, it's going to engrave, then the laser's gonna move back and it's going to engrave again. So one line, one direction. Most other Galvo style lasers are bi-directional or you can switch it in the software and you can go unidirectional, bi-directional. So that means it engraves this way and this way. So they go a lot faster. So this is just a little bit slower. The results are excellent. It's just a little bit slower than some of the other lasers that are out there. The only other drawback I have is that the Make It software is a solid software, but it's not great. I don't think they have honed the material settings for this laser just yet. So when I go into the software and I pick a black cast acrylic that I wanna find settings for, the settings aren't accurate. So I need to run my own test array on absolutely everything, which I usually do anyway, but um, they, they don't have really good starting points. I'm hoping that that is in development and because this laser is so new and I got it early that maybe they are working on that. So I'm really hoping when we see the next software update that we will have some improvements. Overall, this is a great dual laser. If you want something to engrave everything, if you wanna take this to craft markets, if you wanna engrave jewelry and personalize it for your customers, this thing is fantastic. You will love it. The color engraving is super cool. I hope that I gave you a good overview of the We Create Lumos. If you have more questions, let me know down in the comments and look for more videos to come. Specifically, the color engraving will be out next week and then I'll have more videos on the accessories coming up. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.